Thank you so much for joining us for Action News 5 at Midday. I'm Ariana Poindexter. It has been almost one year since young Dolph was gunned down at Makita's homemade cookie shop in Southeast Memphis. The two men charged in his death appeared in court today. And Action News 5's Taylor Tucker was inside the courtroom and joins us live with the latest developments from that hearing. Taylor, good morning. What can you tell us? The hearing continues for 25 year old Justin Johnson and 20, third, excuse me, 32 year old Cornelia Smith. Now this morning at today's hearing, Johnson and his attorney made an interesting request. Johnson's attorney asked the judge to grant Johnson a transfer to the Shelby County Corrections Department due to security and safety conditions in 201 Poplar. That's currently where he's being held. Now Judge Lee Coffey said it's not his call to make. Chief Kirk Fields, the chief jailer at 201 Poplar, says to accommodate that request. It depends on if Johnson has any pending federal charges. As for Cornelia Smith, Judge Coffey asked him to continue to work with attorneys, saying if he wants a trial, he can have one. Right now, both Johnson and Cornelia Smith are charged with first-degree murder, property theft, and both are facing several weapon charges. So we're trying to move fast. Everybody is aware that the case has been pending for almost a year, uh, and we'd like to get this case tried um, you know, next year at the latest. Uh, so we're all working hard to do that. The next hearing is scheduled for January 20th, and at that hearing, they will discuss uh, Johnson's transfer request. Live in Memphis, Taylor Tucker, Action News 5.